I mean, a professor has to look their best when presenting information, like an opinion-based tier list, of course. This isn't really an opinion-based as much as it is all fact. Now, already, we're probably going to have to add another tier here. Oh, my lord. It's Bulbasaur. And as we know, all Bulbasaur are descendants of the other Bulbalord, of the almighty Bulbalord. The rest of the line just goes down because he's straying further away from God. Now, Charmander is easily the best starter you can pick, so we're gonna go up to S tier. Nothing can go into Bulbalord tier, but we do have Charizard. And we're just gonna make a row above here, just for Charizard, considering he's the best Pokemon. Squirtle. Squirtle is a fine gentleman, but he's not Charmander. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna put him down at B. War Turtle makes me uncomfortable to look at, so we're gonna just gonna go down to D. Looks like he has a plan, like a like a sneaky little plan that I don't like. And then Blastoise, we can bring him up to A. Now, now we're here, we're discussing Caterpie. And that of course is a bug Pokemon. So we're just gonna bring that down to F, same here. And now with Butterfree, Butterfree's a little different. I would put all Butterfree's at F except for my Butterfree, which would go probably up to S tier. So where do we put Butterfree? Do we average out between my S tier awesome fire breathing Butterfree and and the the poo poo pee pee Butterfree of the wilderness? We'll put him at D with the awkward war turtle. Now we have Weedle, Kakuna, this one as well. This is just like a little bird. They're not bugs, but they're weak. Pidgeotto can go up a little bit more. Pidgeot, you know, I can see being an A Pokemon for sure. Rattata is D for sure. Raticate. Raticate is bigger, and bigger is better as we know. <clears throat> nah, he's still, he's still dirty. <laughs> are the rumors true? Gary is saying you didn't actually teach a Butterfree Flamethrower. Uh, the rumors are not true. Also, hello Shuppet uh, with a gun. Oh, and Ren is here as well. Rude of you to come in with such a um, a slander of a question right off the bat. Uh, clearly, that's not the case. Cut to Butterfree flamethrowering. And Gary is a damn... A damn... Uh, what I haven't I used in a while? Bitch! There we go. <clears throat> Spiro and Fero. Spiro is definitely a scarier Pidgey, so we're gonna go up here. And Fero is definitely a scarier Pidgeotto, so we're gonna go up here. We'll put him by Pidgey. Arbok will go up here. Pikachu! Pikachu, one of the cutest Pokemon in the world. Everyone loves Pikachu. No doubt about it. We're gonna put him up here in S tier. Every fiber of my being it tells me I should hate that Pikachu, but something about it, I just can't. I love him so damn much, don't you? Ekans a snake backwards. Shut the fuck up. What's a snake? I mean, Snorlax is... Zlarl... Zlarl... Backwards, I guess. Fun fact. Don't tell Pikachu Cult he's not above bubble... Pika Cult? What do you mean? Alright, Raichu. Raichu definitely is never gonna be as good as Pikachu. Instinctively, I just want to put him down to the dirty tier. I don't know why. Hmm. Follow your instincts, Professor. Sandshrew. Sandshrew is fun to have around, especially if you want to play some soccer. So we'll put him here. Sand Slash is cool. He has slashes. Put him up here. Actually, you put him up here. He's super cool. Hmm, the Nidoran family. That's a difficult one. Put Nidoran female here. Nidorina as well. But Nido Queen has boobs. Nidoran male, also boring. Nidorino, cool spike. Nido King doesn't have boobs. B. Snake sounds like a fake mon to me. I have heard of these. These fake mon, people that make up Pokemon. Uh, speaking of, we'll be reaching the ghost soon. All right, Clefairy and Clefable. Fairy types, <laughs> right? Um, but they are from space, I've heard. So we are gonna put them at C. Vulpix, now we're talking. Vul Pokemon able to learn Flamethrower. We're gonna put them up at A. Ninetales as well. 
Jigglypuff, dirty. Wigglytuff, dirty. Zubat, annoying, dirty. Golbat, okay, a little bit better. That's, that's better. You don't usually get attacked by Golbats just trying to go to the Pokemon through a cave. What the hell is a fairy type? I don't know. That's a good question. Oddish, a bit odd. I'll put him here. Gloom, dirty. Vile Plume, also dirty. Paris, hmm. I like this little mushroom boy. I, be, I bet he can do a little fun jig. I'm gonna put him up here at C. Parasect is also cool, gonna put him at C. Venonat are bugs. I don't like bugs. Venomoth, if a bug gets through that I don't know about, I'm gonna be pissed. Diglett. Now, I've, I, I have a lot of questions about Diglett, especially now that I've been to Ultra Space and I've seen Diglett everywhere. I'm gonna put him up at B. But Doug Trio are just three Diglets, and that's dirty. Meowth! Hmm. I've seen one talk, and that's dirty. Persian? A little bit better, because it shut its damn mouth. Psyduck. Whoa! I hear a boom bidi boom boom boom. Let's bring it up. Oh, that was probably too loud for some of you. I'm sorry. The professor sorry. had strong intuition, believed ghost types to be superstition. He went down to Lavender, brown pants not on his calendar, and succumbed to Marowak's submission. Wow! Oh, I should, it's a poem. I should be doing this, huh? Also, I didn't shit myself. I understand that, that was color, but I want to set the record straight. I didn't shit myself. Psyduck has ha have heard has incredible power, but I've never seen it. I'm going to put it at C. Golduck. Golduck is not a psychic type, but should be, and that's dirty. Golduck is in gold, F for false advertisement. That's a good point. Why does Primeape have those greasy metal cuffs around its extremities? It's a good question. The greasy metal cuffs make it dirty, but Mankey, he's like a little mischievous guy, hmm? We'll put him at C. I'm tempted to, I, I, I don't hate your suggestion about Golduck in F for false. I like that, F for false. Now Growlithe and Arcanine, Growlithe, is A tier, flamethrower, awesome. Arcanine, S tier, the legend. Growlithe is a good boy. I've seen him, I've seen him sit. I've seen him roll over. There's no, there's no saying he's not a good boy. And Arcanine is a good boy you can ride on. We're not on ride on yet. Poliwag's big problem, he's weak. Weak, we'll put him here for weak. Poliwhirl, less weak, still pretty weak. I mean, he's just got like gloves on. This is gonna be a Pokemon battle. You don't wanna like soften a blow. Is Stream frozen? Uh, not for me, but I'm also the professor. <laughs> uh, Poliwrath. Now, Poliwrath, we're actually, he's still got the gloves on, but we're actually, he's starting to get a little angry, you know? So we're gonna maybe put him at B for boy howdy, he's gonna get going. You know what I'm saying? Abra's a rare one. And we do, you know, your, your boy Professor loves a rare Pokemon. But he's not that strong. But he's not weak, he is psychic type, so we're gonna put him at B. Now we've got Kadabra. Kadabra has a spoon. Never been a fan of that. He's not weak though. We're gonna keep him at B. <clears throat> and now, Alakazam. I, I think Alakazam is a myth. Back in my day, I trained a Kadabra for a very long time, all the way to level, I would guess, 100. Never evolved into an Alakazam. I'm gonna put Alakazam at false two. All right, now we have this muscle boy, dirty. I don't like it, it makes me feel gross. Monchoke. All right, now we're talking. I don't want to out myself too much, but maybe maybe up here. Now this one I think is also false. Never seen him. Don't believe he exists. Alakazam's gonna scoop your eyeballs out with those spoons, you say. Well, that's if he's even real. Alright, Bell Sprout, dirty. Leaping Bell, dirty. Picture Bell, dirty. I don't like the way it's looking at me. I don't like the way it's at me. Get out of here. 
Tentacle. Uh, also, weak. Tentacruel. Tentacruel's a big deal. He was able to to do to do an entire 9/11 one time. So he's no joke. But that just the fact that he did a 9/11 means he can't be at S tier. Oh, he's trying to get there, but nope, he's gonna be at A. Professor, can you trade me your level 100 Kadabra? I can give you a level 20 Firo. Tier A, clearly better. Let's take a look here. Kadabra, Firo. Hmm. Sure. The Pokey 911 is, I'm sure. I'm sure. They, they play it all the time on the day. The video of that giant tentacle just destroying those towns. I don't even know how it got that big. I'll always remember when it knocked down the second tower. Geodude is our next up. Now, Geodude, I've, I've, I know Geodude mostly as uh, hooligans who are in those Boulder Boy gangs. <clears throat> Proctor's been telling me about those. He's kind of weak. He's just a, just a guy. We're gonna go here. Now, Graveler, I know there was some discourse about his two arm or his forearms. Not his forearms, but the fact that he has four arms. So we're gonna put him up at B. I like it. Gra Golem, up here. Strong. Let's see. Ponyta. Ponyta, fire type, already brings it all the way up to A. Rapidash can learn flamethrower. S tier. By God. Now we have Slowpoke. Hmm. Slowpoke's weak. C. Slowbro, also lazy, and now he, he he doesn't even know there's a thing on him. There's something behind you, Slowbro. Just knock it right off. Nothing. There's nothing in his eyes. We're gonna bring it down to D. Slowpoke is delicious, though. You know, I've never had a Slowpoke tail. Tell me, is it that good? Magnemite is weak. Early stage Pokemon. Magneton. Sure, you can go up here. He's fine. Farfetch. Now, I've heard that Farfetch are delicious. I've thought about doing a Professor's Kitchen on him. But, other than that, weak. Doduo, also weak. Dodrio. Bring him up here again. Although, I have heard one of his heads are racist. That's dirty. I think the slow family of Pokemon need to get a job. I agree. Be like me. A professor. Do you believe in the Doduo delivery service no longer using real Doduo for mail delivery? Interesting. Are you implying that they're that they're robot Doduo? Let me put it let me put that down on a list. This is this is things that I should be researching. Uh, <laughs> Seal, weak. Dugong, weak. Grimer, dirty, clearly. Muck, dirty. Shelder, weak. Cloister is a vagina. Hmm. S tier. My powerful vagina. All right, now, we're gonna have to make a new ad below, and this is fully not real. Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, <clears throat> the Hen Dog. Hello, thank you for joining. Hey, Professor, put Onyx next to Cloister. I don't hate that idea. You just imagine Onyx, Cloister, just putting them right next. To I cannot argue with someone with a degree. That is true. It's against the law. I mean, I once saw a person make a Ghastly when doing fancy smoke circles. Hmm. Let me try to fix the mic, then I'll try to make a ghastly. And then, <laughs> have been subscribed for seven years, I think. One thing I learned is that ghosts are clearly not real. It sure is. Let's teach you. Now, you can't just make a Charmander out of thin air, right? Because that is a real Pokemon. But can you make a ghastly out of thin air? Let's see. This might actually not work because of the, the white background. Let's maybe... Oh, spooky ghost! Oh no! Or is it that ghosts aren't real? This is a science lesson with the professor. <coughs> Let me just finish that Urban Mystica real quick. 
And we've just gotten <coughs> to the bottom of a big Pokemon <coughs> mystery. <coughs> Onyx. <clears throat> now, Onyx is big. He's going in S tier. Right next to Cloyster. Drowsy, dirty. He's a pedophile. Hypno, dirtier. Now, Krabby, I know, is delicious. I've done an episode of him. Should I make a tier for tasty Pokemon? Put him up here because he's tasty. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Voltorb. Voltorb. Devotees will know that Voltorb helped me destroy my evil twin. S tier. Electrode, on the other hand, is dirty. He ha shouldn't have that mouth and those eyebrows. Get out of here. If you make a tasty tier, you gotta make a sexy tier, and then where does it end? Yeah, you know what? You're right. <laughs> John, you bring up a really good point. Too many fuckable Pokemon. But Professor, what about the theory that Voltorbs are just Haunter-possessed Voltorb Pokeballs? Get out of my chat. Get out of here. I thought we just, I just did a whole thing to, get out of here. Did you learn nothing? Execute. Execute is a weird one. It's definitely dirty. And then, uh, Executor. Executor. Also dirty. I don't like it. Electrode looks like he eats boiled celery. Hmm. Like, that's it. Gross. Electrode, what the fuck? Now we gotta go with Cubone. Cubone is weak. But, he's seen trauma, he's seen tragedy. I can relate to it. A Pokemon with a dark past. We'll bring him up to P. And Marowak, he's gonna go up to A, just for being the true ghost, the culprit behind the Lavender, or the, yeah, basically all of Lavender Town experiences. Execute is weird. It's clearly eggs, but the Pokedex is confused and say they're seeds. The Pokedex, the original Pokedex was made by Professor um, Poopy Poop Man Oak. Um, and I'll come up with a better nickname in post. Uh, none of that can be believed, truly. There should be a Monchop and Electabuzz tier that's all Pokemon that are just a guy. Yeah, but what if they're sexy? We have Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. Fighting type Pokemon. Back in the day when I was a child and I and I went and faced the Gen 8. Gen 8, what the fuck? When I faced the Kanto gym challenge, I faced the fighting type gym leader. Uh, there was no Sabrina back in that day and he used both of these Pokemon and they were strong. So they aren't in the weak category. Here's the thing about Hitmonchan. And this should be studied in fact, I should put this out here. I stare at Hitmonchan, and it's everything I think is wrong with a Pokemon. But I just love, I just love Hitmonchan so much. I've always wanted one of my own, but never wanted to admit it. Boy, chat, you are, are seeing a more of an intimate side to me. I'm letting myself open up around you. Lick a tongue. Mmm. Lickitung is dirty. Following it up with two others, uh, coughing and wheezing, dirty, dirty, dirty. And then we have Rhyhorn and Rhydon. These are majestic beasts, that is true. Rare as well, we love that. Bring them up to B, but then we're gonna move the screen up and bring A and S. But then I wanna rethink my Rhydon. I've had a run-in with Rhydon, a specific Rhydon, the magical Rhydon, that was a real prick. So I'm gonna bring it down to B. But let me rethink this again. That Rhydon told a real big lie to me and said that there was a Mew under a truck that wasn't. No, I <laughs> backed out. He's full, he's full of false lies. The real question is how does Hitmonchan <clears throat> type with boxing gloves on? That's true, I never thought about it. 
all those late night texts with that one Hitmonchan and I never figured out. And I've seen that Hitmonchan's phone, it was one of those fold outs with the entire keyboard. Just like, what is it, how does it do that? Let's see, Chansey is weak, right? But it does heal and its eggs are delicious. I've had a Chansey egg. Yum, 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 in my tum, 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 tum. We'll put it at B. Tangela. Tangela's weak. Kangaskhan. Has a child to protect. The child is weak. You're not allowed to eat them because they're endangered. All really good reasons to put it just at C, I think. That's how I feel. I've been here. Okay, I'm so... Oh! Eevee <laughs> donated five. Put me in an S or I'll kill, murder, your whole bloodline. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get to Eevee. Gary wants to battle me. Any advice? Um, yeah, flamethrower. He won't know what hit him. Kangaskhan is a two for one deal because you get the mother and the baby. You could also call that a cock block. Horsey doesn't seem dangerous. Horsey seems weak. As of, as of right now, I have no reason to be fear, fearful of Horsey. And I don't think I will in the future. C. Weak. Cedra is stronger. I've seen Cedra do some, some work. We're going to put it at B. Alright, now we have these horny bastards. Their lips are for sucking. Their horns are for penetrating. I think they're both dirty. Horsey can blind you with the goop that it shoots. <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. All right, star you and star me. Now these Pokemon are the psychic type, which we know is the most powerful type there is, and fire type is better. So they're not weak inherently, so we're gonna bring it up to B. Would you eat a Mr. Mime? Hmm, I don't think so. That might, that might be cannibalism, I'm not sure. There's still questions about whether Mr. Mime is a human or not. Mr. Mime, false. He's an F because he's definitely a human. Scyther, now we're talking. Scyther is the epitome of cool. Except that one time, he did, he was mean to me. There was that time. But he's just so damn cool. S tier for Scyther. Jinx. Now Jinx, I, I've had a Jinx of my own. I traded it away. Better choose your words carefully with Jinx. The Dr. Proctor might get mad. Hmm. I don't know, but she Jinx also cheated on my colleague, Dr. Proctor. If you remember. Dirty. Electabuzz. Electabuzz is, is a cool electric dude. I say A. Electabuzz gets the professor seal of approval. Now, Magmar. Magmar was a tough opponent in the in the, the Kanto League. He learns Flamethrower. Already inherently brings A. But he's in, known in other parts of the world as Boober. S. Now we have Pinsir. Pinsir is Bug. F. That was easy. Tauros. Tauros isn't weak, but he can't learn Flamethrower, so inherently he's just a normal type Pokemon. Boring. He's powerful, but boring. B for boring. Magikarp. F. F for I got scammed. Tauros is currently carrying you in your Nuzlocke. What Nuzlocke? I'm a professor. <laughs> now Gyarados. Gyarados is S tier. Lapras. Lapras is a rare Pokemon. Not weak. Not boring either. A plus rare Pokemon. Not strong enough though, for my liking. A bit of a bitch. Scizor is not cool. I'd have to do some more research and do, what is that Scizor? S, C, I, Z, O, Oh, the chat moved. Hold on. R. All right. Ditto. 
can be any Pokemon. But he also fakes you out. And he's all, he can also be dirty. I've seen a, Ditto is very versatile. So we'll put him at C. Eevee! Now, a nice crisp fiver says that you're in S tier, Eevee. You are in S tier. And let me tell you, I am not above being bribed. Vaporeon. Definitely dirty. Look at look at the way it's looking at me. Jolteon. Jolteon is definitely the coolest of the cool. But Flareon. Flareon can learn Flamethrower, so inherently is above Jolteon. Porygon. Now I had a little bit of a run-in with Porygon very recently that I wasn't pleased with. S for seizure. He did cause all those seizures that one time. So C for the children that it killed. Helix, false god. People like to praise this Pokemon. It's not a real god at all. You're wrong. Now this is a weak Pokemon, but interesting. Because this is like a prehistoric Scyther. In my research, I feel it might be a prehistoric Scyther. I think it is S tier. Kabutops, you're S tier. Welcome to the club. All right, Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is a fossil. It's not weak. B, B. It's fine. It doesn't impress me. Not the way that Kabutops does. Snorlax. Now, Snorlax is a big boy. Good bulk. Hard to take down. Annoying, though, for traffic. And walkability. Perhaps we put him in A. All right, now we have the legendary Pokemon. Inherently, legendary Pokemon. R S tier. Right up there with the legend, Arcanine. And we have a flamethrowering one. It's all good up there. Patini already is not not powerful. Rachini is S tier. Dragonite, or Dra Dragonair is S is A tier. Dragonite. Everyone thinks Dragonite is just so cool. The better dragon they say than Charizard. I don't see it. I don't see it in fact. I don't see it. He's C. He's just okay. Just okay. What are you gonna do about that? Just okay. Now we're on to the last two Pokemon. Mewtwo, who is inherently S tier. And Mew, also S tier. No question about that. We've got a perfect S tier up here. I am amazing. <laughs> He's a pal, Chubby Charizard. Uh, are you talking about Dragonite? Don't even compare him to Charizard. Nobody can compare anything to Charizard, except maybe Charmeleon by going, oh, he's like Charizard without the wings and he's more red. And then maybe Charmeleon is like, he's like a baby Charizard. Those are the only two you're allowed to do. Professor, have you heard the theory Magikarp evolves into Dragonite and Dra uh, Dratini becomes Gyarados? Because well, look at them. I had heard this theory. It's a um, crackpot theory because I, of course, have evolved a Magikarp into a Gyarados and uh, and have evolved have de-evolved a Gyarados into a Magikarp. So I mean that's that's as thorough as you can get on that. Now do the Poke rap. <laughs> I don't remember the rap uh, by heart. I can I can look up the Poke rap lyrics. Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Menke, Venusaur, Rattata, Firo, Pidgey, Seek King, Jolteon, Dragonite, Ghastly, po Ponyta, Vaporeon, Polyrath, Butterfree. And then we'll do it just like the anime used to do it. Um, that's all you get this time. But next time, we're going to do more of the rap. <laughs> if you're seeing this on YouTube, we just did this live on Jason the Channel. Our live show, our daily live show, Jason But Live. And um, we're going to keep doing things like this. We're going to do a Gen 2 tier list at some point. Uh, probably sometime maybe next week. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Now, if you're interested, is do a genuine my, my Gen 1 list. Completely redo it, if that's what you're interested in. 
Either way, I'm gonna get out of this suit. <laughs>